Hi, it's Eric, the Swiss Army Knife here to help you all out with sidebars that you may buy, step bars that you may buy for a vehicle. I have an older vehicle and uh, I looked all around at looks and I wanted a black mat. And the one I saw was the Armadillo and it just looked really nice. Got a great name, everything. And it was probably $100 more than any of the others. There's some that were 150, something like that. These are around 200 bucks, 75 to 100 dollars more with tax and everything shipping. So um, I went with them, thinking, "Hey, this just bolts right on, no problem." Well, that is kind of a misnomer, and so I'm here to help you with that. We're using the Armadillo brand, and I'm going to read off which one I got. I got a 2000 Ford 150 with a dual cab. You'll see it's right here. The instructions suck, okay? Um, they're not even good at all. Um, I'm a do-it-yourselfer, uh, so I just pity the fool that has to put one together and doesn't have install skills or can figure things out and stuff. It's really, it's really poor and, and unprofessional. I I'm, I'm really was bummed. I talked to the guys there at Armadillo, and they were really nice. And one of the reasons why probably this one doesn't have much um, help is because it's an older truck and so they just went well we're just going to go with the newer ones but that makes it really hard for people that you know in general five minute video would help clear this up and i'm here to show you that i'm going to show you some tools that you need to carry and have to make the job go smooth in in discussion with them uh, with armadillo i'm going to show you the step right now installed on one side. Now I didn't do the other side because it was late night and I was frustrated it only was going to take an hour or so to do and it didn't. So the other one I'm going to do probably might even show you the install. It's really hard because you're not looking. You have to look inside. The thing that is the real clincher is it says that the step bars and the brackets are made for passenger driver side. That's true for the step brackets. And I'm gonna show you the brackets here. Now I'm in manufacturing, so brackets having the same number on them, don't even give it a second thought, they're all the same. And they do show up like they're all the same. But when you take them and look at them, look at the difference. One's a right lip, one's a left lip. And that's the secret to what you gotta do. And in talking to them, they said, yeah, people do have problems with this and they just play with them until they work right. I am like shocked. OK, come on, guys, you've never installed one in a Ford 2000 and nobody ever made the right instructions. So the other one is, if you'll notice, the bar has a long side and a short side. Hope you can see that. The short side goes forward, long side goes back. Simple. You also get one of these. I didn't get two of these for a sidestep for a 97. We're not going to use that. Okay. Tools you need for sure. 5 8 deep socket wrench. That's what you need. That's the most important. And a number six hex Allen wrench. Those two will pretty much make your job go smooth. And you can see this is where they packed them. Again, the instructions said there were two different models. Um, left and right and it shows I'm going these are the same okay same model number same number on them so those are the same but it's these little buggers that really got me upset that somebody wasn't thinking somebody didn't just make a PDF and two pictures that's all you needed if you just follow the instructions with uh, removing the plug on the 2000 you move this plug and then you're gonna take these and you're going to put them inside. You're going to wedge it inside that that hole, and then this bracket sticks out, and you just mount these things right on it. It's pretty straightforward. If you don't have any uh, do-it-yourself skills, you may struggle with a little bit, but hopefully this video will help you out. Also, get yourself a blanket so you can lay down on it, and you're comfortable because sometimes you're going to be down there a lot. Now it's not straightforward where everything goes, so what I suggest you do is put the front and the back bracket on loosely and then screw in the bar so you get the length correct and then you can work things back and forth and up and down to where they need to be 
and then it will sit well. The other thing is that I feel that it's lacking is it's using the firewall and uh, or the rocker panel to mount on. So I'm actually professing that we take a bar and go from here to the frame and uh, you know either bolt on or just a two two bolts one on either end and that'll make it nice and strong and you won't have any problems i hope this helps you out so army knife out and subscribe at the bottom if you would please